as you can see, these tires, uh, when we made our third rookie move, something's not right. Like it just felt like we were dragging our load. Yeah. Look, he's making rookie moves. <laughs> to you guys many times before that we plan to do a lot of boondocking and we thought our first adventure in boondocking was gonna be tomorrow but thanks to some nasty weather it starts right now we were gonna be leaving our first RV park spot tomorrow but because of the rain and these spots are well just dirt all right and the boondocking spot over by the lake is also just dirt so it's created a lot of mud rained all last night it's cleared up today and it's supposed to rain through the night into the morning so we just made a on the spot decision we are going to pack up do tanks get everything ready and head over there right now so let's go all right so adrenaline's definitely rushing we just got pushed out the day um but we have our checklist we already had pre-days everything done because of the rain uh, so we're right on pace so sydney's doing tanks Flush in the black, gonna fill our fresh as we go to boondock with no hookups. And I'm in here monitoring the black from the inside, but also getting all the cleaning and the inside prepped as we teamwork and then get ready to hitch up for the first time on our own. 30 gallons, I repeat, 30 gallons. Bobby. So yesterday, I made sure to lube up the slides, the hitch, um, the pin, there's one other thing. But anyway, we did all that stuff yesterday because it was a beautiful day and we knew there was rain today and tomorrow in the forecast, which is why we were able to pivot on the fly. Um, so really all we have to do is kind of take care of what was the, the day of leaving stuff because we did our 24 before leaving. 48 before leaving this time because of the storms that rolled in so we really lucked out with being able to kind of see what the weather was doing and we're gonna go get a prime spot and oh my gosh I am so excited to move back and get out of this trailer park All right, so as we get closer to the 37, 38 mark, 37, Mandy will keep an eye. Mandy will keep an eye of what's going on down the toilet. The second she starts to see water, you will hear her command. That way we don't overflow, but we get that thing as filled as we can to rinse away as much as we can. Just a tip, put anything that you need to take up on the roof, your blower, anything, tools, anything you're going to be doing up on the roof, just put it in a backpack. That way once you get up here, you're climbing up the ladder, your hands free to use the ladder to come up here, not trying to carry tools, um, so stay and safe. So keep that in my bag. Everything looks good, so I think we picked a great time to go ahead and move. Everything is dry, the sun is shining. There was like nothing up here on the slides, but you know, we got that little bit of dust, a little bit, a couple needles off. Um, but the roof looks good. We're ready to roll. Okay, a little bit of nerves about hitching for the first time. Everything else feel good, the slides, getting ready, the drive, um, just getting some reps of our own with hitching and getting at the right height. Um, so we're excited to get that one under our belt today, but like anything else, right? First time, a little bit of the unknown, 
that's normal. We're going in with confidence. We've done the research. We're definitely prepared and we're excited to move the rig. Yep, yep, because we have a green for go. Yep. Good job, Turk. Okay, pin check. Yep, green check. Pin check, green check, check, check. And now we need the seven with seven plug. Mm -hmm. Right here. Whoa. Everything's getting dirty today. I was just going to say. <laughs> and then that chain needs hooked over here as well. What chain? Oh, my The emergency. Is that this? Yeah, I can't see. And where did we clip this on last time? To that hook right there. I believe we're plugged in. Can you reach it where you are? Yeah. There you go, there you go. There you go. Okay. Breakaway cable check. Seven pin. Check. check. Green. Check. Pin. Check. Okay. We um, have to test the uh, lights. Well, we gotta do a pull test. Yep. Remember Before the that? lights? Yeah, I remember how. Do you... You wanna put the tailgate back up? Yep. Yeah, muscles. We hooked up for the first time, girl. We hooked up for the first time, <laughs> that girl. That was the scariest part, okay? Getting hitched. <laughs> it's saying something about our blind spot and check our connection. Are we put in the GPS? Get out of here. Were you ready, fam? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go left. You're doing great. Thanks. Just remember to go straight and then a hard 90 left. Why are we I don't know. fighting so much? I don't know. I just don't think I'm going fast enough. That's weird. And with the tires being so full of mud, I guess. I don't really know what, it's the front tire that's having trouble. What's going Something's, on? Something's, yeah. Brakes or something or. Let's, let's straighten up and then let's pause. So yep. it's not right. You're in four high, you shouldn't be in four low. Too low. So let's switch when I went to Toy Hall. I'm gonna have you get out and then I think you're not gonna see anything, you're gonna have to watch me turn again, but. I don't know if I'm just taking it too sharp or what. No, it shouldn't be pulling like that. Okay. Put it in park, please. Yes. It was in the front. Everything look good in the hitch? It's like, that's not, that was not pulling normal. Okay, I'm gonna have you watch it while I turn this turn after this car comes through. You're gonna try turning on like again? That sounds like something was... It, whatever was going on was going on in the front axle. We got a... Like the front axle of... The truck. The truck? Okay, you're on... Toe setting? Yes. And your brakes are back off from the pull test? Well, they are on right now. But now they're off. Park brake on. Park brake off. Okay. I'm in park. You felt like it was your front axle? Yeah. 
That's for the tire that was slipping. I feel like my tires were just slipping. Yeah, we're dry as can be. Okay. Ready? Something's not right. What do you want me to do? This felt the same? Yeah. I didn't see anything. Okay. Let's get in and call Adam. I'm gonna get us to our spot. Like and let's call Adam. I'm gonna get us over to the boondocking spot. It's too stressful not to. How does it feel when you're sh straight? Mm -hmm. It feels good. Will you please call Adam? Like while we're driving? Yes. Where's your phone? Adam? Yes. Hey, it's Sydney and Amanda. Yeah, how you guys doing? Good, do you have a quick minute? Go ahead. We are hitched up, everything went smooth, but now when we turn, there's this like really weird noise. It's almost like our front wheels are struggling to move and there's, I don't know, it's not right. It's like a lot of vibration on, just on turns. We haven't even left the RV park yet. We've taken like three or four of those turns out. So uh, tr are, the, are the tires uh, spinning freely on the trailer? We're gonna give it, we're not going very far, so we're gonna get to our destination. We'll see, we'll reach out if we have any additional questions, but I think. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, please do. Okay, yep, th thank you. Is there like, you know, one of the little spots of grass or no? There's no, then there. you're so close to like, and you can't get close to it because of the cones. Yeah. Um. What about over there? A little spot of grass on the far side of the white wall or just in the middle here. Those are kind of our options. Do you think you can get on the other side of them in the white wall? On the other s I don't know what you're saying. Like between the new people that set up in the white wall? No. I think it's a really difficult maneuver for this situation we're having. What if you just, we parked in between them? Yeah, kind of a little bit back. Back this way, but so we're centered between them. Yep, sounds good. Did you feel that? Uh -oh. The controller's not working. We're boondocking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an interesting 16 hours so far. It's been fun. We have rookies make rookie moves and whoa, have we made them. So what was the first? So here's when we first hitched. It was the first time hitching on our own. We did excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, she crushed it. Thanks, she buddy. backed right up, hitching. That was the part I was most nervous about, but she did great. Full green, everything was good to go. That went off without a hitch. And <laughs> um, and then when we pulled out, I, I pulled as far forward as I could and started to make my sharp 90. And something wasn't right. Like it, the front wheels were spinning like they couldn't get enough traction uh, to pull the trailer. Um, we did our, our pull test on the trailer. The trailer brakes were working great, but when I tried to turn, so they spun a little bit, it ended up, the truck muscled through, right? Like, mm. and so I was like, ah, oh, like it was wet and outside a little bit. And, um, but something wasn't right. So again, the next turn at a sharp 90 turn, cause you know, you're getting out of these tight spaces and I had like four or five zigs and zags, but, um, same thing, the, the tires were spinning and it really felt like the trailer brakes were engaged. Felt like we were dragging, like from the passenger, like it just felt like we were dragging our load. Yeah. So, but, and then you thought it was the front tire, so then the th third, third or fourth turn, I got out to watch, but watched, paid attention to the truck. Hindsight should have been looking maybe more closely to make sure that the trailer tires were spinning freely. Yeah. So then, um, we only went, so we knew, so our first time boondocking, let's back it up a little bit. We'll come back to the end of that story because we're still figuring stuff out there. But, uh, so we knew that first time boondocking, we were probably gonna make some errors and be figuring stuff out. And so we didn't want to go very far. So we only came like 150 yards. 
Um, and so we set ourselves up for success. So back to that story. So we only had to drive about 150 yards. And the last probably 50 yards, everything felt normal. We got on the phone and talked to Adam. Yeah, so instantly we were like, what do we do? She's like, call Adam. We called Adam and thank you, Adam. It was a holiday, Sunday evening. He yeah, answered. Yeah, Easter Sunday. Um, and he got us through, it could be this or that. Um, probably the trailer brakes could be locked up. We're not really sure why. Um, and then he stayed on the phone with us as we made another turn or two. Yeah, he says sometimes when you do that pull test, like the hitch, the brakes don't disengage, you throw it in reverse. So I don't know, we're gonna also do a little bit more research. We're gonna reach out to Brinkley. We're gonna talk more with Adam later today. We're gonna do more research before we hit the road, hit the road and t travel, what, about 200 miles? Mm, it got changed, it's only 160 our first trip. So 160 our first trip, we kept everything about 200 miles or less for the f most part of this summer just to, be able to take it slow, take it easy on ourselves. But so um, we'll get that figured out before we hit the road Thursday, Thursday. But rookie move number two. Oh my God. Go <laughs> so we go to unhitch. We have everything. We have the pressure. We put our front landing jacks down. And we could see the gap. Like, and we go to move the hitch and we're like, just pull the lever, right? And she's like, yeah, just muscle back. We're pulling it back 30 minutes later. So um, we're, we're both, we're like walk separate ways. We're both on YouTube, like Googling our hitch. Called Adam again. He goes, okay, so wait, when you pull it out, you then can't pull it back. And I was like, the pull it out. Pull it out. And then pull it back part. Which, so yeah, which makes sense that the lever just doesn't move without first being pulled out. Yeah, I was able to do it flat footed on the ground with one hand and my wrist just, and yeah. it was so easy. And again, Ricky's making Ricky moves. <laughs> So, um, but we were supposed to be moving today. This weather is the reason we're not. As you can see, these tires, uh, when we made our third rookie move, <laughs> got sunk in the mud this morning. So we moved yesterday because... It was gonna rain all night again. And the mud here gets like this. You have to just, once it stops raining, give it like a couple hours and then you can drive on it again, unless you drove on it while it was raining and then you have a really rough situation. That's just how it works in the desert. So, so we're like, let's back up to- What was that rookie move number three? At midnight, <laughs> I get woken up and I hear beep, beep, the alarm clock's off, like everything's beeping and the thermostats are just like strobe light blink and blue, like low power, not receiving power. And our batteries are just totally dead. Well, so they were blinking low. They weren't totally dead yet, but so she's a much lighter sleeper than I am. So she wakes me up like, hey babe, hey babe, this is blinking, this is blinking. And in my dead asleep self, I go, we have two options. <laughs> we can put on the generator or we can just put a shirt over the, put cover, I put something over the thermostat and deal with it in the morning. Well, this one got a shirt. We, we picked <laughs> option two to deal with it in the morning. So uh, she, well, first I'm trying to like hang a hat on the thermostat to cover it up. I'm like, you picked a trucker hat. It didn't uh, work. No. <laughs> so we get a shirt, we cover up the thermostat, we shut the door so we can't see the living room while I'm blinking and we go to sleep. So then I wake up about 7.30, just here in the rain all night, and it's cold in here. But we have no Wi-Fi because we have no power. And at this point, everything is dead, battery, and off. Yeah, we only have climate control while the, either while hooked to shore power or with the generator on. Solar does not give us climate control at this point in time because we only have two 100 amp hour batteries. So we would get like 10 minutes and then be done. But so she goes, we'll like, fire up the generator. Let's get the battery charged, fire up the generator. We'll turn this on morning, the furnace, yep. we'll turn on the fireplace, go to press the generator, and what happened? So yeah, we, when the batteries are completely dead, you can't, the ignition on the generator gets no juice. So I was like, okay. She was like, let me run. Miley has to go, you know, go to the bathroom. Let me run her right over there to this green, beautiful section right in front of us. She loves her new yard. Yeah, oh, she was pumped. So she takes her to the bathroom. I'm like, just think, just think for a minute. And duh, we got, why did we get two alternators on the truck? So we could use our seven way pin to, to truly, really give our battery some juice. So plug the seven way pin in, hit the generator start button. She fired right up, instantly started charging our batteries. We were able to go ahead and and shut the, the truck off, but in the meantime, what happened with the truck? 
Well, it got a little muddy. <laughs> um, the thing we were trying to avoid, yeah, we had to drive in I mean, anyway. Like, I was as careful as I could, but the floorboard, like the running board, the step, I was like, oh, it got muddy. And <laughs> we broke her in. <laughs> I had to back up twice. I tried to get as close as I could. Once I would plug in that seven way pin, when you're not backed under the hitch, it's not a very long cord. So <laughs> yeah. I realized that I had like, it was like two inches short, so I'd readjust. So now we got some, we're gonna have some nice ruts here. Oh um, yeah, and we're in up. like an inch or two deep of oh, mud yeah. to get out. So at least we didn't have to tow in that still. I have no regrets about moving mm -hmm. a day early and we were gonna make these rookie moves whether it was yesterday or today, so. Yeah, I mean, we have beautiful weather. I'm so glad we jumped on the opportunity to move yesterday when the sun was shining, it was dry. We were all settled in, everything set up before sunset in the dark. Um, but give them a 360 view. Why do we still think boondocking is uh -oh. better? Give them the view. Yeah. We killed our batteries overnight because, well, how did we go to bed? With the TV on in the inverter. <laughs> Which means Starlink ran all night. And then of course, like the fridge. So we had no temperature control with the inverter. The inverter in the solar system really is just designed to be able to get us through a work day. Um, which it has successfully done on a ra rainy cloudy day just like this one so that's great but for temperature control we need the generator but we didn't want to run the generator the lows were only in the mid 50s and we were fine i mean it was a little crispy in here this morning <laughs> yeah. when we woke up but we once we got the generator running kicked the fireplace on and it was fine yeah and last night once we got all set up we did run the generator for an hour before we went to bed to run the fireplace have some cinnamon rolls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so and thought we gave we wanted some it juice to, feel to our like batteries. Camping, but you know, yeah, the weather was nasty, so we baked we baked some cinnamon rolls and they were really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another thing with camping is um, our robes that have been hanging behind our door oh. <laughs> for the last three months. Um, I was dancing about the cinnamon rolls, just in my defense. <laughs> yeah. Um, so house coats are necessary when you're boondocking because yeah, it's a little it, chillier. Yeah. Yeah. But I... Am, I'd rather it be a little cold than too hot, though. I would... Oh, 100%. Like and summer. I would rather be a little bit cold than on top of people. So we have our entire summer planned out. Um, we cannot wait to take you along for some epic adventures. The first one being the Grand Canyon National Park. We're gonna finally hike it. We've been there before, that's a funny story. We'll tell you next yeah. time. <laughs> um, but we've been using our National Geographic Road Atlas Adventure Edition to plan out our, our year. We're through, we have it planned through September um, and it's gonna be an exciting, exciting first summer. Basically, we have a mix of resorts for, with full hookups swapped with and boondocking in state parks is kind of how we, we mm -hmm. flipped and flopped our, our summer planning so far. Uh, so we will be doing some boondocking, but not the type where you just go out and find a, a spot in the middle of nowhere yet. We just, we, uh, we're building confidence. We're working to it. Yeah, so all of our spots are reserved, even if we have just, some of them are just electric, and some are no hookups. Can I talk about the Queen Master Planner Reserver? Like, I'll look at my map and I'm having fun. Like, oh, this state park and reading about this state park. And I'm like, well, I just want to go here and here. And she's like, okay, this is like how many months? She's just like a wizard. It's fun. It's been like a puzzle, um, putting everything together and planning everything. Cause we don't want to move too fast. We want to be able to enjoy each area, have the time to work, have downtime and have time to explore without feeling like we're leaving a spot too quick. Yeah. And it's gonna be epic. We're excited. Thank you so much for coming along on our first boondocking experience. If you wanna see where we go next and our summer full of fun, hit that subscribe button to follow along on our journey. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Because it's on.